Greetings everybody, this is Dom with you today. Hope you're doing fantastic. Welcome to another edition of Tutorial Tuesday. Today we're going to be demonstrating how to use Adobe Lightroom CC 2015. Yes, this is a trial of the software. So, we are going to get started right away. Now, what is Lightroom? Lightroom is a photo editing software used in the Adobe Creative Suite. So, the first thing that you do is we're going to import a picture. So we're going to go press import and then we're going to pick a picture along here. Now, as you can see, the catalog displays all the folders listed. So we're going to select here, camera roll, no photos found. There's a previous photo that I've done and we're going to select another one here, for example. So for the sake of it all, we're going to just use this photo and we're going to import them. Now, with this, you can import more than one photo in Lightroom. And what you can also do is that it goes by calendar view, as you can see, first through the 29th. So this is basically like a leap year that I imported. So what we're going to do is we're going to select one photo, and then we're going to go through and see what we can do. We're going to click on Develop. When we click on Develop, it will go straight to the photo that we have selected. And then what we can do is we can put in the presets located on the left here. We can go and select a blue filter, a blue high contrast filter, a red filter, and a yellow filter. Now those are just filter presets. Let's go and select a color preset, an aged photo, a bleach bypass, a cold tone, cross process, an old polar, yesteryear. And you can select all the presets that you like here, and then you can go and look at your history of what you've done. We're going to see what else we have. This allows you to select anything in your list. It shows photos without keywords. So it goes to all 29 photos in your key lists here, and then you can go and peruse them. Interesting. And you can also use published services to import photos from Facebook, from Flickr, and then you can find more services online. For example, we are going to set up our Facebook here so that it imports our Facebook photos. So we're going to click on that, and then it gives you an option to authorize your account on Facebook. You can also use the published service here to enter the description, and then you can import your albums, and then your titles and then you can go down into the options here file naming you can include video files file settings image sizing output sharpening metadata and watermarking you can set watermarks on your photos so that if you basically are a brand you can do that and then you can also configure your Flickr and Adobe stock and also stuff on your hard drive so we're gonna go don't save and then the hard drive is right here so you can import everything from your hard drive to your Lightroom. So this isn't actually a editor per se, but it's sort of like a batch editor where you can put all of these photos together in a calendar view and you can put certain attributes. You can go and select text. So let's say we're going to select the Nintendo Switch thumbnail that we did and then we're going to right click on it and then you can go and select edit in Photoshop CS2, edit another application. So we're going to go and edit it in Photoshop CS2. And then you can also select copy with Lightroom adjustments. So then what will happen is that it'll prepare the file for editing, open it within Photoshop CS2 or whatever version of Photoshop you have, and it will allow you to make further edits, which is really nice. Now, if you have Photoshop, this is a really handy feature when you want to process something that is from Lightroom into your Photoshop. So what will happen is that there is a mismatch and then it will just allow you to discard the embedded profile as you like, but it does allow you to import from there. The color profiles don't match up because the version that we used, I use Photoshop CS6 and I've imported this to Photoshop CS2. It is an older version of Photoshop. So we're going to just close out of that for now. And then we're just going to keep going here. These are just thumbnails and old photos that I have used from my pictures folders and so forth. You can keyword 
each of these folders by entering tags. So this, comma, this, comma, this, and so forth. It's automatically text that you want to do. If you want to make your own custom text in this keyword, you can allow yourself to search the keywords for, let's say, this picture. And then it shows you a histogram of how the color profiles add up, which is quite nice. Automatically, a lot of people would think that this is an editor, but ultimately it is. It's just not the kind of editor that it, you expect. It shows this in grid view, and we're going to switch the view to loop view. And then you can go and check each of the photos by zooming in and then giving them a rating. You can rate five stars. You can flag as a pick, and then you can do other options with it. So that, for example, let's go people. And then people view allows you to show the faces of people in your photos. So you can start finding faces in the entire catalog. What it does is that it finds every single face that is on your hard drive or whichever. And it allows you to scan everything and make sure that every face is detected, which is really nice. So it's detected all the faces here, and apparently Melania Trump is in my folder. I don't get that. But anyways, we're just going to go back to grid view into our default settings here. And then we can also look in folders. This is where we originally got our photos and so forth. So you can map out your photos on the map settings. So you can go into a map view, and then you can find out where it goes. This is the legend where it says unselected photo, selected photo, groups of photos, clusters are nearby, and search result. And you can also do it in a book. You can set it as a book cover if you have certain things that you want to do, like if you want to make your own version of a standard landscape book with your own custom pictures, you can do that on here. And then you can also do a slideshow. You can make a slideshow out of all the photos that you want to pick. And then you, when you've done everything, you can set the stroke border, the opacity, the offset, the radius, the angle, and then you can also show guides here. So it gives you a guide on how to make the slideshows, and then you can link all of it, and then your identity plate, you don't have to put in there, but you can if you want to, and you can use an override color, and you can scale it to size, and then you can play the slideshow when you're finished, which is really neat. So that is what Lightroom is. It basically allows you to have a professional look to your photos and add a touch to it. And then you can also make digital prints of them. You can connect it to the printer, and then you can also publish them to the web as well. So you can make a website using a template browser of each of your photos. So you can make, let's say, an Instagram portfolio using a certain template that you can put on a website where it'll give you a HTML code to copy and then you can publish it on a website so that you can open up your Internet Explorer or whatever browser that you use here so that it imports everything that you've done onto your project and imports it to your Internet Explorer or Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox or whatever you use, which is really, really nice. And so... Just to recap what we've done. The library allows us to import our photos. It allows us to change the view. It allows us to compare photos. And it allows us to zoom in and zoom out. You can do multi-editing. Then there is a survey option. Then you can just go and list everything. It's fascinating, really. The metadata here allows you to enter data. It also enters the folder. Also allows you to enter a title, a caption, copyright, copyright status, and then you can set it as a sublocation, blah 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 blah. Then you can set a rating, label, blah 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 blah, here, and then you can also set the dimensions and the GPS coordinates. It's a pretty interesting tool that you use. Lightroom is not just another version of Photoshop; it is completely different. So this was just a rundown of how to navigate through Lightroom. Now this is basically my first time using it, as you can see from my level of skill in this software, because I am mostly a Photoshop expert. But with Lightroom, you can do a little bit more in a lot less time. So this was a request by Dumindu Megawatt. 
Thank you very much for watching, and domination is near.